all right guys welcome back to stuck on an aisle i'm stuck with you guys and we are always smiling now first of all happy new year's january the first it's like 5 50 something in the morning day is about to break but um this year is all about new adventures and what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be doing a catch and cook but first of all we're going out to see to go fishing um probably about a year ago you know i said it around the same spot that i wanted to you know go fishing with a fisherman see what it was like so hope you guys enjoy today's video it's gonna be good <laughs> it's gonna be a good vibe to be able to catch what you eat and you know see how fresh and how different everything is I tell you. Then, then what do you ever do? I see a peer bug a jump, you know. Them tell them you are young. Level, you know? Yeah, man, they tell me a young youth and try to get a little job and start out in their life, you know. So get rich, you know? Yeah, some man about get rich. Any other little say, if I say, um, look. I have cash but you more and buy fish on you. I don't want to go back and forth. Alright, just to keep you guys in the loop of what we're doing right now, we're just pretty much buying some gas. And the funny thing is, I used to work at this gas station, so I used to see the fishermen come here all the time, you know, fill up the tanks and then go out to sea. So that's pretty much the vibe. Yo, I'm excited. So then my line up for just catch like fish, right? Mm-hmm. Get your tuna on up. Right, it's tuna. Mm -hmm. So any specific reason for that kind of bait there? Like that catch a special kind of fish? Well, this catch any kind of fish. You catch like dolphin, right, bonita, it. yellowfin, marlin. Yeah. Barracuda. Okay. Catch red tail too. So I know some of you guys might be wondering, you know, of course you're taking up the lines to catch the fish, but generally what he normally does as he said was to um have fish traps out there. So I thought it was only fish traps, but there's a different method of catching the fish. So that's a vibe right now. The sun is coming up, the rise is here. And trust me, we're just really excited, we don't even understand. The bait one we see my use, it looked like a squid. Yeah, and it says it catches anything on the upper level. Yeah. So somebody 
is out there. Well, I thought it was deep sea diving, but it's not. But yo, let's see. So currently we're trying a different form of fishing right now because fish not biting. But yo, under the water I can literally see it like yeah, it's kind of turquoise looking and it'd probably be a nice spot to um, spearfish like those guys out there were doing just now. But right now we'll just set up some line so we can see what we can get. You still need that. So we'll see. <laughs> Fish pot. It's a kind of fish in there. Have you see if you do this? Alright, so right now we'll try to find the, the fish pot. It's a really cool technique to actually have like a glass to see what it is. Um, if you guys are Jamaicans, you know, like if you have the whole concept of having a fish pot is that you put up a boy and you can know where the fish pot is. But you know, sometimes when in my Jamaica, just thief, they will see your stuff and just catch your fish. So instead of putting on a boy, use this technique, which is, you know, you have to know which part you're taking, which I think is really cool. Guys, I am so excited. <laughs> Yo, the first time I ever see this happen, it's really cool. Yo, we've been out here for a minute. They must say, I first time ever see somebody not get seasick. Um, at the moment, I feel kind of good. I mean, it feels like a, a roller coaster in some ways. Let's see how it goes in the next couple of hours. <laughs>
trees that they're be Plop! Yo, may I buy that? <laughs> Yo! 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 Yo, this is exciting, bud! Yo! Guys, look at that lobster. Yo! You know, yesterday I saw somebody with some lobsters. Um, I think he's spearfish them, but then we lick up some small lobsters, and I was like, you know what? Nah. I'll wait. Guys, it's gonna be my first time. <laughs> Actually, what you call it? Um, like holding a lobster. Huh? You see that bird there? Mm -hmm. You know what kind of bird that? No. Pelican man. Oh, pelican. Mm. You can't talk about all that fish when they put you in the box now. You know that? Yes, sir. Yo, this is dope. Look at this baby. Woo! See that kick? <laughs> you know, you can't talk about that fish on that boat, you know. Really? <laughs> you guys see that pelican? Oh, it's that. That's dope. the tough part guys because I look like a fisherman with the, the leggings thing on and you know fishermen sometimes might not be as respected so to get a cab it's gonna be difficult but the next time I do this uh, definitely have my mom come pick me up or drop, drop the car off up here or something because this is gonna be very tricky Alright guys, welcome to the part of the video that you want to see, which is the cooking part. Um, what we're going to be doing today is a basic dish, which is going to be lobster. Um, you guys can see that we're pretty much out by the sea right now, which is a nice little vibe. The lobster is down there just in the water, chilling out a little bit before we cook it. Um, the cooking process is going to be on an open fire. Uh, ingredients we're using are very basic. Stuff like ginger, garlic, thyme. Uh, salt, uh, a bit of pepper, very basic stuff we're going to be using today. And um, yeah, it's going to be the vibe. So, hope you guys enjoy this process. Watch as I cook it and try to do it as simply and as deliciously as I can. All right.
I think I'll need maybe two more cloves of garlic. That could make it all good. Um, I wanted to use some some butter, but I forgot butter. But that makes it even better. We're gonna be using just all organic stuff. Butter is in a kind of process, so. Now let's get more garlic. All right, so we got our season here. So we're just gonna scoop it off. Got the mallet. And just drop it into here. It's a no-brainer, simple. course you just need a little bit of salt not too much or just salt it to your liking say like about a pinch of salt or so should be enough uh, my hands are wet so it's sticking to my hand but whatever just gonna rub that all up in there A bit on the shell as well. This is a spiny lobster, so, so you gotta be careful. The shell is pretty prickly, but yeah. I did leave back some of the seasoning in there because I'm gonna add a bit more of the coconut oil to it as it cooks. But for now, that should be alright. Oh my gosh, if you guys tasted that. <laughs> I did a taste test just now to make sure that the salt wasn't too little or wasn't too much and yo That tastes so buttery without the freaking butter. But anyway, I'm gonna make try to make um a Makeshift grill at the moment something that won't put too much heat onto the lobster immediately. So let's get on to that All right, so let's cook the underside first oh yeah while it's on the back i'm just gonna add a little salt on top of that just a little salt and a little coconut oil i know people like eating the shell for example judah loves eating the shells so excited so about uh, two and a half minutes have gone I'm supposing so she'll be able to flip it pretty soon all right you see that all that seasoning cooking up in there real good all right I think we can take her off the fire now she looks just about done let's do it guys finally we can eat yo if you guys see how tender this is look at that oh wow oh wow Not to toot my own horn or anything, but this is probably the best lobster I've ever had. Whoa. Oh. This 
seasoning is so good. Oh. Wow. And the meat is just still so so nice and soft. It's not hard. Wow. Yo, spending that extra time doing that seasoning was worth it. Man, I can tell you. I just popped it on the fly fire just now again. Give it a little bit of smoke. I love the smoky flavor. Wow, this is so good. Guys, look at that meat. It's not too tough, not too soft, it's just right. Mmm, my gosh. Yo, when you take time out to like prepare something properly, I can tell you're gonna get the results. All right, guys, as you can see, yo, I'm definitely out in the country. Um, yo, I know I'm in the country when light gone. I was at home and light just went away and I was like, all right, you know, time to go do that video. But um, if you guys love videos like these, for me personally, it was a great experience. Going out on the boat, learning how to fish, you know, seeing the hard work that they put in. Yo, it was, yo, it was awesome. If you like videos like these, yo, just drop a like on the video. Um, if you have any ideas, maybe any Jamaican recipe that you want to see. I mean, a couple subscribers did tell me before they want to see me do stuff like um, Rundown, stuff like that, which I love to make. Yo, drop it in the comments and I'll definitely do it. Um, yo, this is an experience. And, you know, being a YouTuber and doing stuff like this for me, it's just a great way of, you know, sharing my passion for cooking and just the love for my country. But anyway, guys, yo, let me tell you this. Remember these three things, love, nature, adaptation, and always remember, you know the deal, keep the link.